Hey everyone, it's Sam Mackay here. Today we are going to go over something seriously cool in Power BI, but not easy. This is not an easy concept to get your head around, but I would say, I mean, if you can get your head around what is going on here, then uh, then you're doing very well. But this is actually a really common requirement in business, where you want to you want to compare your uh, your results, your actual results, for example, you want to compare them to, say, a budget or a forecast. But sometimes that budget sits at a different granularity. You might have actuals which are at a daily level, but you might have budgets where are, which are at a yearly level or a monthly level. And you need to somehow, uh, you need to somehow allocate that budget to a particular month. Now, the scenario that we, or, or, or a particular day in this case, um, so what we are going to walk, walk through here is how we can not only allocate budgets across every single day, but what's also really common is that uh, you might have a yearly budget, but then you might have seasonal weightings per month because it's very rare. Uh, well, it's not rare, but you know, it's uh, a lot of businesses have seasonality. So, in uh, some cases, you might have this yearly budget, but then you've got to um, allocate only say five percent to January versus fifteen uh, percent to July, uh, because it's uh, that that's where the bulk of your sale, your, the bulk of your sales happen in the summer, you know, in the U.S. summer or something like that. So, I'm going to show you how you can just through a yearly uh, a yearly customer uh, a yearly budget. Uh, in this case, it's against a location, a yearly budget, how you can not only allocate this across uh, every single day, so you can measure it against, say, a daily actual or even a, um, a monthly actual, but also how you can then distribute it across different, uh, uh, well, different, have different weightings for individual months. So there's a bit of logic that we have to apply here. And then what you can achieve is the difference between these two. So down here, right? This is the budget allocation with no seasonality to it, whilst this actually has the seasonality to it. So here we're looking at a daily level, but if we were to jump to say a monthly level, you can see, well, okay, well we actually passed budget based on a seasonality factor here, but we didn't reach it here because the seasonality weighting was higher. So, uh, so really, really, really good insight, right? Uh, and uh, here's a good point. You, if you want to download this resource to actually see these formulas, then uh, all you've got to do is, is jump to the Enterprise DNA uh, resources page um, and you can get this along with a variety of other um, a variety of other resources that that cover all the different videos, all the videos uh, through Enterprise DNA TV, and the link for that is in the description. Now, if we jump into this calculation, so what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do it. So I'm going to um, I'm going to create a new page here. I'm not going to write out each different formula because that's probably just going to take a little bit uh, too much time. But I'm going to just create tables and we can walk through what's actually going on. So in this case, in this case, let's actually just uh, have a look at what the budget allocation is. So here, if, if we have a look at uh, this table down the bottom here, you've got total sales versus the budget allocation. Now the budget allocation is just a simple, we have the days in the, the date context, so that would just be one divided by the days in the month, which would be say 30, 31, so on and so forth, times by the total budget amount. Okay, and so what that is doing is that on a daily context is going one divided by 31 and then timesing that by the total budget. Okay, and then if say this was if we if we put this to a month and year calc, we put this to a month and year calc, then it is actually the same. I actually just realized something this is actually named incorrectly. This is actually this should be days in year. If, we, if you look at this formula here, this is actually uh, I've named this incorrectly. It should be days in year because that actually makes more sense, right? We need to go one divided by the entire year because the budgets are on a yearly uh, granularity. So we need to go one divided by 365 and then times that by the entire budget for that amount. And then we need to do that for the next day and the next day and the next day. Now, what if we then need to add in here? What if we need to add in here this budget weighting, this, this seasonality weighting, right? Well, uh, we need to add some additional logic and it gets a little bit more complex. So uh, I'm just going to jump, take our month, month and year out here. But here we've got the days, we've got total sales, and we've got our budget allocation with weighting. So this is, this basically is the uh, same as below, right? This is the same as the below, as the below 
number, but it's different because this is 170,000, this is 153,000, and that's because this 8% weighting, that's why. And then February, if we go down to February, that's going to be in a lower amount, 123, because the weighting is also lower, it's 6%. Um, and but here the budget allocation is the same all the way through okay so what do we need to do what do we need to do to actually calculate this okay so this is again this is just a, a, a really um, similar pattern really similar pattern that you could um, that you could utilize and you can actually download obviously if you uh, venture into the enterprise DNA resources and so uh, what we are doing here is we've had to bring in this uh, additional uh, variable in here so seasonality and I've got seasonality measure here and so so this total budget, right, we're still summing up the total budget, which is the yearly amount, but we are timesing it by the seasonality measure, and that's that 8%, that 6% <clears throat> for January and February and so on and so forth. And so in the current context, this total budget isn't going to be the yearly amount anymore. It's actually going to be the monthly amount, which is what we want. Okay, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going one divided by the days in the month, which this has been adjusted to. So this is actually going to be, say, 30 days. And then we're going to times it by the monthly budget number instead of the entire budget number. So if, and, uh, so if we just, uh, just bring in a couple of these measures here. So if I bring in <coughs> the seasonality measure, you'll see that via this measure, we've got the 7.7% and we've got the, and as we go down 5.8% and that's because this is actually to two decimal places. So I'll uh, actually one decimal place. And so uh, so we have we have been able to uh, get this get that weighting into this table and align it to every single month that it is um, that it is uh, aligned to. And so uh, we've had to do a couple of things to actually achieve that, but this basically is the formula that enables you to do it. So uh, we have, um, all, all we're doing in here is really returning, we're returning the seasonality measure inside um, of the date, that, the month that it should be basically. So there's a little bit to this formula, but it's not, not super difficult to understand. Basically all we're doing is we're saying, okay, so what is the actual month inside of this date? and then return whatever the seasonality weighting was for that month. That's basically the logic behind it. And then <clears throat> and then we have integrated the seasonality measure, which is this one, into here, right? And that seasonality measure is what feeds into, into here. So this, say, 7.7% is what we times the yearly number by because our budget's at a yearly level. And then that gives us a monthly number. And then we then integrate it into our logic where we go 1 divided by 30 times the monthly number. And that's how we then eventually get our budget allocations via with their seasonality weighting incorporated into it. So seriously cool formula, right? Seriously cool way that you can quite efficiently, I would, I would suggest, quite efficiently actually um, showcase well how you are actually going versus budget. And so uh, we could, we could, um, you know, there's a number of different visualizations you could do. Maybe, maybe this looks a bit better. Maybe if we change the uh, change the colors around a little bit, so we'll have a darker. Uh, actually, we'll have a lighter there and a darker in the background, and so we can see on a daily basis, based on the um, the allocations per month, how we how we actually tracking. And so, you know, brilliant way to bring something quite complex um, down to you know a relatively uh, intuitive format, um, and also it's dynamic, right? It's, it's you, you can integrate this into the rest of your the rest of your model. So it's just about finding the correct visualization to make uh, make this all work. May, maybe maybe um, just selecting an individual uh, city in this case isn't, isn't actually a compelling. Uh, compelling enough visualization, we might need to group these cities into into their particular regions, for example. Um, but there's so many different ways that you can actually you can actually swing this. So it all comes down to this basically this this allocation algorithm. We've, we've had to adjust it just from this just from the simpler one, uh, but we've only had to adjust it just slightly. Uh, and with that adjustment, we're now able to get a more um, you know a better picture of how our sales are actually tracking, not against this generic month uh, daily number. It's actually against a specific weighting a number with a weighting associated to it so just a reminder if you want to download this uh, this resource uh, you can and you can just copy out that um, that algorithm or that logic and utilize in your own environments 
obviously it's not as easy as that you've got to understand a little bit around how to structure your model but obviously you get this uh, model in the resource so you can figure out that too um, and so all you got to do is just uh, find the link below and uh, go and navigate and you can also download all the other resources that are associated to, to uh, enterprise DNA TV resources or, or videos sorry Okay, so all the best. Don't forget to subscribe. We've got new videos every uh, every workday from Enterprise DNA TV. We are seriously building a, a movement here with Power BI, so want to get you along um, and uh, want to showcase to you all the awesome techniques that uh, you, you can utilize within Power BI. So best of luck with this uh, with this technique in your own environments, um, and talk to you soon. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the contents covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like. It really helps us and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators, uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website, plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best, take care.